Lions are dwindling in number in wild areas and there's not many more landscapes left available for them to expand into. They persecuted wherever they go. It becomes important then to look after the populations that you've got. Once you're in Zuland, it really gets into your blood. It's a melting pot of opportunity and development in a conservation perspective. Somkanda is a camp reserve which was formed in 2006 after the Kumbi community received the land back to their hands. We met with some NGOs, the White Lands, and they wanted to know our vision. The community took a bold step to set this land aside for conservation rather than having a traditional land use. Nature conservation can also happen for black community as well. They've been a community of first, first black rhinos, first proclaimed area. We started to work and work and work and work. It's going to be our own game reserve so that we can generate more business opportunity. going to get this reserve to be attractive as community owners of the land. They are the leaders in community conservation environment. Uh, Dale, Dale Pisano. Pinda, they have a really well-managed lion population. They've got good genetic diversity on their property. We're almost at full capacity, actually a little bit over. We have the ability to distribute the genetics from Pinda elsewhere. Right now we've got quite a task at hand. The weather's not in our favour right now. All the tracks have been blown out and you can see it. Okay, copy, yeah, I've got you. All right, I'm going to come there now, Sizwe, and have a look. Luckily, we find the animal. He found the male that we're looking for. Even though we had planned to catch all these lions tomorrow, I think it's a good idea to try and put this male into the boma and then he's out of the way. So we've just called the vet, Dr. Mark, Mark Toft. Simon, I'm about a minute or two from the airfield getting the dart in, then losing sight of them once the dart's in. That's the biggest issue. And as long as you've got a bait, they will normally return to the bait. They moved from where we last had them, so we pretty much have to try and call them out from wherever they want to. There he is, he's right here, Simon. Is it definitely the one at the back there? It's important to know which animals you're getting and what animals you're giving, so that you're not having two bloodlines that are very closely linked breeding with each other again. I think at times we really thought this wasn't going to work. Just before the weather came in, we were lucky enough to get the first male. This is a six-man line, <laughs> not a four-man line. <laughs> We would hope that we're going to be part of the Southern African lion metapopulation management to ensure genetic diversity is maintained on these small pockets of disconnected reserves. Where were they last seen? Yeah, look, I don't know how much a call up is going to help in this window. Finally, we've woken up to a morning with, with some good weather. We're hoping to get these two females now. We need to rush so we don't lose them in the thick bush or the grass where they are at the moment, so exciting. They're both showing good fun, so far. They still haven't really formed pride structures as such, so it's the ideal age for us to take a male from another pride and these two females. From a wildlands perspective, it's very close to home. We're wanting to see lions in the wild, so now working with the Gumbi community here at some kind of we've been able to do that. Looking good, they've traveled well, and hopefully they adapt to their new boma. Yeah, after a long week of work, we're sitting inside the Sumkanda Boma. We've got our three beautiful lions coming back to the area after 100 odd years. Rewilding the property is an apex predator. 
is going to create a real natural system that's going to make the reserve thrive. They are all tolerating each other well, which is a really good sign for the bonding process. I think it's looking good. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Go back to telling my community they must love them. It's the last big page of my dream. It's just paving the way for the future of this reserve and this community and their continued effort to contribute to the biodiversity and conservation of South Africa and Africa at large.